Hey, I'm an apprentice at the New Bedford Whaling Museum, and I want to tell you about Elizabeth Carter Brooks. I read about Elizabeth at the new digital exhibit, Organizing New Bedford, Women Who Mobilize Change. Some facts about Elizabeth, she lived in New Bedford, she fought for equality for African Americans, she joined the NAACP, she was the organizer for the Elizabeth Carter Brooks Junior Girls Club, where they studied African American history, explored current events and advocacy, and promoted kindness and good deeds. Everyone should know about her. She was the first African-American woman hired as a public school teacher in New Bedford. She has an elementary school named after her. Elizabeth was known for her help to her community in breaking barriers for African-American women by becoming the first African-American woman teacher in New Bedford. I care about her because she changed the way people teach in New Bedford and respect people have for African-American teachers. Also, she joined many different community organizations to bring equality to women of color. I can connect to her because I am a woman of color who lives in New Bedford. She is an amazing woman who changed the way women of color are viewed and respected today. She reminds me of Michelle Obama because they both cared for the lives of others and changed the world by becoming the first woman of color to be a teacher and a first lady. What I like about her story is all the ways she influenced her community. I would want another person to know about her and her work right now because she contributed to the succession of African American people in New Bedford, which gives some people their comfort of life today. To learn more about women who mobilized change in New Bedford and enter this year's Ignite Youth Art Showcase, visit historicwomensouthcoast.org for inspiration and contest guidelines. Artist entries are due March 31st.